Hello everyone, Andrew here, and welcome to Super Mario Brothers Tips and Tricks. Super Mario Brothers is a game that's been out forever, everybody knows it, and yet I bet that there are still things about it that some people do not know. In this video, we are going to go over everything that you need to understand to be a master of Super Mario Brothers. Everything from the very basic and simple that you likely do know, to the most obscure and odd secrets that this game possesses. By the end, I bet there will be at least one thing that you learned that you did not know before. So with that said, let us dive right in. In Super Mario Brothers, there are three warp zones, one at the end of level 1-2 which takes you to worlds 2, 3, and 4, one at the end of level 4-2 which takes you to world 5, and one hidden in a secret area midway through level 4-2 which takes you to worlds 6, 7, and 8. There is also a way to glitch the warp zone at the end of level 1-2 to get it to take you to places it is not normally supposed to, including the very famous Minus World. In order to pull off this trick, break the second block from the right above the level ending pipe and jump backwards to the right while ducking. I find that it helps to press the A button the instant that you touch the wall. If done correctly, Mario will glitch into the wall and entering the first pipe that you reach will take you to the Minus World, a never ending water level which loops forever. If you wish to instantly warp to world 5, jump into the pipe in the middle of the room and you'll be taken there ahead of time. If you get game over while playing Super Mario Brothers and are taken back to the title screen, it may appear that your only option is to once again start from the beginning and play through the game again. This is actually not the case though, as if you hold the A button and press start, you will be taken back to the beginning of the world that you got game over in. This even works inside the Minus World in case you just can't get enough of it. There are 10 one-up mushrooms hidden in the original Super Mario Brothers. One in an invisible block near the beginning of level 1-1. One hidden inside the ceiling near the end of level 1-2. One inside an invisible block near the beginning of level 2-1. One inside an invisible block midway through 3-1. One inside an invisible block near the beginning of level 4-1. One inside an invisible block hidden near the midway of level 5-1. One inside an invisible block hidden midway through 6-1. One inside an invisible block hidden midway through 7-1. One inside an invisible block near the beginning of level 8-1. And one inside a brick block at the beginning of level 8-2. You may have noticed that sometimes when you attempt to hit an invisible 1-up block, it does not actually appear. This is because under normal circumstances, in order to get a block to appear, you must collect every single coin located in the third level of the previous world. However, using warp zones, or in the case of level 1-1 which has no world before it, the block will always be there when you attempt to hit it. 1-ups can also be earned by collecting 100 coins, hitting over 8 consecutive enemies with a shell, or bouncing on over 8 consecutive enemies in a row. One of the most famous places to do this is at the end of level 3-1, using the Koopa Troopas that are climbing down the stairs. Mario does not need to land flat on top of an enemy in order to hit them. Rather, as long as Mario has downwards momentum, that will be enough to deal damage to an enemy. This leads to some interesting situations that you certainly won't find in any other Super Mario Bros. game. In level 1-1, there is a way to jump over the flagpole at the end of the level by using the very first Koopa Troopa of the game in an interesting way. Right after the checkpoint, position yourself so that there's about a one block width hole to the left of the screen and so that the Koopa Troopa approaches from the right. Just as the Koopa Troopa falls into the hole, jump to the upper left corner of the screen and you should bounce off it. You'll know if you did it correctly as points will be added to your score and the Koopa Troopa should wake up not long after. After it does wake up and begins moving to the right, follow it through the level until eventually you arrive at the flagpole. If you jump with perfect timing, you will actually bounce off of the Koopa Troopa and land on the right side of the flag. If you choose not to grab the flag and continue running to the right, you will be stuck in an infinite loop that can only be escaped by losing a life from a time up. You can get fireworks to go off after entering the castle at the end of a level by touching the flagpole with either a 1, 3, or 6 at the end of your timer. Unlike later games in the Super Mario Bros. series, no sort of math or matching with the numbers in your score or coins counter is required. Each firework is worth 500 points and the number that you get depends on the last number of your timer after touching the flagpole. After clearing the game, you will be presented with a second quest. In this quest, various things are more difficult than they were originally, including Goombas have now been replaced with Buzzy Beetles, various enemies move faster than they did before, Moving platforms are now smaller than they previously were, and fire bars and bullet bills have been added to levels that they were not in previously. You will also be able to select which world you wish to begin from by pressing B on the title screen. 
This final trick allows you to shoot fireballs as small Mario and can be performed in any castle level of the game. Proceed to the end of the level and beside the level ending axe, be either big or fire Mario. Jump so that the instant you touch the level ending axe, you also take damage from Bowser and you'll notice that Mario's sprite acts weird. At the beginning of the next level you will still be Big Mario, however hitting a block that reveals a power up will for some reason be a mushroom rather than a flower. Collecting this mushroom will make you small Mario, and collecting another power up afterwards will turn you into small fire Mario. This Mario possesses all the abilities of small Mario, meaning that you only have a 16 pixel height and cannot break brick blocks, however pressing the B button will allow you to shoot fire as if you were fire Mario. Taking damage in this state will return you to big Super Mario state, and getting hit in this position will actually cause you to lose a life. And those are the tricks, secrets, and cheats you need to know to be a master of Super Mario Brothers. Did you learn anything new? Of course some of these were rather common knowledge, something that anyone who has played or perhaps even heard of the games would know. Although I think that what makes Super Mario Bros. so unique is that those who are willing to dig into it can discover some really bizarre and interesting tricks. And I hope that you enjoyed learning some new ones. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you'll join me next time when we look at a different game. So thanks and see you later. Thank you so much once again for taking the time to check out my content. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing as it helps my channel grow. And I also have a Patreon page where everything that I receive goes towards making the quality of my work even better. So thanks again and hope to see you next time.